All right, in this video, we'll learn some of the basic mathematical tools to describe wave motion. So let's take a look at this graph. This looks a lot like our simple harmonic motion graph, but notice that the axes are different here. Instead of time on the horizontal axis, we have position. Um, and this vertical axis, Y, represents uh, displacement. So this, is, this graph is almost uh, a picture of the wave itself. This could be a, if this were a transverse wave, like a wave on a string, then you're kind of just looking at what the, the string itself looks like. So if you, um, if you shake the end of a string and you shake up and down with simple harmonic motion, you create what we call a sinusoidal wave. This is a picture one instant in time, but this wave is traveling. It's got some velocity to the right, so it will be continually moving to the right and getting shaken up and down. I can't draw an animated picture on a whiteboard, but keep in mind that because this is Displacement versus position. I haven't indicated anything about time on this graph Now there are some properties uh, of this wave some of which are kind of similar to simple harmon simple harmonic motion like the amplitude That's the the maximum height the maximum displacement of that wave the wave length is the distance between two successive identical points on the wave, like two consecutive maxima. It's how long one cosine of the wave is, or how long one sine of the wave is. We measure wavelength in meters, that's Greek letter lambda. Frequency, again, that's not really shown on this picture because we're not graphing time. Frequency is, you can think of it as how fast you're shaking the end of the string up and down to create these waves, or you could think of it as how fast the, the waves are passing you by, like how many maxima of the wave you see per second. So for instance, if you were um, at the beach, if you're in the ocean, and a water wave um, comes by, and you bob up and down in the water as this wave is passing you by. The frequency is how many times per second you're bobbing up and down. Similarly, the period, which is one over frequency, is how long each wave takes to pass you by. Now the wave speed is how fast this wave is traveling, and it's related to frequency and wavelength. This equation, speed equals frequency times wavelength, is true for every type of wave. Not just transverse waves on the string like we're drawing here. It's also true for longitudinal waves, for sound waves. It's true for seismic waves. It's true for electromagnetic waves, light and radio and x-rays and so on. So this equation is going to come in handy over and over again. And all these definitions are true no matter what type of wave you're dealing with as well. All right, so let's take um, these ideas and do a couple quick examples. Example 13.8 from your textbook. Um, example 13.8 gives you a picture just like this and it tells you right on the picture the values of lambda and a. Just by looking at the picture, you can see a is uh, 15 centimeters, lambda is 40 centimeters. 
So it gives you the amplitude and wavelength and asks you to find um, these. Oh, it also gives you a frequency, eight hertz. And it asks you to find uh, these other quantities, the missing quantities here, which would be period and wave speed. Okay, so we've got those, and we can find the period is one over the frequency. So one over eight is 0.125 seconds, and the wave speed is frequency times wavelength. Make sure to turn that into meters. And it is 3.2 meters per second. All right, pretty simple problem. Example 13.9. Also simple calculations, but kind of fun to think about. Let's consider a sound wave and a light wave that each have a wavelength of three meters and figure out what their frequencies are. turn this equation around a little bit, you can see that frequency equals speed over wavelength. And the difference between sound, and well one of the differences between sound and light, is that they propagate at vastly different speeds. The speed of sound uh, at standard temperature and pressure is about 343 meters per second. And the speed of light is 300 million meters per second. So for sound, F is 343 meters per second over 3 meters, which is 114 hertz. That would be like a slightly sharp A note. And um, for light, F equals the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second over 3 meters, which is 1. 10 to the 8 hertz or 100 mega hertz, 100 million hertz, uh, which is in the radio frequency. Uh, all the um, FM radio stations are in this megahertz range. So this would be FM radio. And this sound wave would be um, kind of a, a note in the bass register. Human hearing for sound waves ranges from about 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. It's not really that high for most people, maybe like 16,000 hertz. Um, and the light spectrum has an enormous frequency range. Um, it extends over many, many orders of magnitude, and we'll talk a lot more about that in Physics 7.